<laughs> Does it have a name? <laughs> no smoke. No smoke. No smoke. I, I was hoping you would name it Luke. <laughs> say, Luke, I'm your father. write a program? Out of my head, that was so, so easy at one time in my life. So, so, so he can log into the Wi Fi? Yeah. <laughs> the There's only one in there. Before I forget. It's probably yeah, not I, that traumatizing. I, do it. I should introduce myself. I'm Christopher. Oh, hi. Nice <laughs> to meet you. <laughs> All right. Let me come around better angles. Right, HDMI sorry. device drivers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Please, please. I'm just going to come around and sort of be this side That's up. That's fine. So, uh, sign it in the breadboard area. It's not like anybody's going to solder anything there now. Well, they probably still can. Oh, my God. Yeah, my cassette, my cassette connector. Broke. So we had to replace it with one that's not the original stock. I didn't have time to go to the store to see if I have any. Christopher, get down there. This is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Make it a lovely picture. Just yell whoever's taking a picture and then smile. Look at this way. That was worth taking a picture of. You and that. You and the first one. Or. I think the president gets less cameras. <laughs> 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 he has fewer fans. Oh. Yeah, I think it'll really work. Yeah. Work it just him. <laughs> <laughs> What's this for? Oh, did you use that keyboard? Okay. Oh, no. This one's missing the prompts. Oh. So what I did was I took the Bernini prompt with the, the monitor, and I added basic to it. Hmm? I and Me then too. I jumped oh, around and put the address thing. Mm -hmm. So that I have basic and the monitor all in one, so I don't have to work basic every time. Oh, okay. That's cool. Um, oh, yes. So yeah, when I was developing, I finally got an EEPROM late, mm -hmm. in the, late in the game on the Apple One. So so this EEPROM so finally one got two K EEPROMs. I had a bunch of electric <laughs> panels. This board came from another Apple and truck, mm -hmm. and he grabbed two of them from the doctor's office. I remember that day. When they <laughs> sent out an announcement yeah. to everybody that there were boards there. Yeah, I went by, I think I got one. Yeah, so that's oh, where that's he got this one from. Very and nice. he... Why do these chips have red on them? Because those are replacements. Oh. <laughs> the story behind this board is that he posted to a news group that he had these, and he didn't have them working. So I offered to help him, and in exchange, he gave me this one. So he got the working board, and I got the one with missing chips. Mm -hmm. I was expecting this like a Raspberry Pi as a server basic for this, or is it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, those are those are really, to me, watching the demonstration and, and what the students at Northwestern are doing with the Pies. Uh -huh. They are very much the same thing as the Apple II was back then. Yeah, you they know, when, you know, Wendell Sanders takes his iPod and yeah. uses it. The cassette interface on this one does not like to be used. I can load about 128, 256 bytes at a time, and then it loses yes. sync. I knew nothing about any of these things when I did them. They were all learning. I had no idea of how you do storage on cassette tape. It's like when you write out signals of one hertz or two hertz, mm -hmm. kilohertz, mm -hmm. and you figure out the ones and ones are short and these are long. But it wasn't like a real proper technique of the analog ways. Uh, I'm surprised I it worked. Yeah, I, mm. I have a feeling that it's probably one of the replacement chips that I have isn't quite right. But over time, I replace them with things that are you know, more like what the other one is. And hopefully, at some point, I'll get it stabilized. <laughs> cool. But I like to bring it out and let people type on it. It actually does. Oh, I get to run, run the basic on it. I didn't yeah, see that at first. Yeah. So um, people are welcome to come up and type on it if they want to type on it. I'm going to pass on that. <laughs> I don't want to look stupid. I don't want to look stupid. But I remember PC-76, a show, first time I'd ever flown across the country, me and Steve Jobs, and we're going to show up our Apple II, and these guys from Processor Technology and other companies are on the plane with us, you know, from Emco, and they're going to, they're more professionals, and we're just the super guys, and, and we had this, I'm upstairs, so Steve and Daniel Kotke stayed on the floor showing to people, I was too shy. 
So I stayed up in my hotel room working out another command of the basic. Every once in a while, I'd send them down with a new tape. Here's one with another command added to the mm -hmm. basic. That explains why <laughs> so many hour by hour. <laughs> <laughs> well, the sugar, yeah. The, the Apple One base. Well, the problem is, even by then, before we had shipped an Apple One, we had the Apple Two demo that that show to a guy late at night, so nobody could see it. So, mm -hmm. you know, so, <laughs> so the Apple Two was really the one to shoot for on the basic. But we finished the basic for the one. So you had the Apple Two ready at least to show before you shipped any of the Apple Ones. Oh yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. This was a PC seventy six. We came out late at night because they had a, a guy had a projection TV. Oh, wow. And just, uh, I really, when it's this digital color wasn't nor wasn't proper by any book on mm -hmm. NTSC color. Wanted to see if it would work, and it worked on his projector late at night. But none of the other little computer companies would let see it. That reinforces my conviction that any time you see something on the shelf, it's obsolete. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if, it's, if it's already available to be bought, then it's pretty much obsolete. Something else is going to buy it. Yeah. Well, the, no, the Apple II was a huge problem. Because we knew it was going to be so big a hit, we had no money to build it. See, so we had to start shipping Apple Ones. Yeah. You know, costs nothing. We got the parts on 30 days credit, built and put it in, built in 10 days, and got paid cash at the store. There have been companies that have gone gone bankrupt because they announced too soon on something, and people say, "Well, I won't buy what you got now because I'm waiting for yeah. the stuff you're going to no, do." No, that wouldn't have that wouldn't have really affected us much because we didn't sell very many Apple Ones money wise. So, but but you know, but we had no way to sell an Apple II, right. and we had to, we spent a long time searching for trying a formula to get money. Now this was, um, it, and you know, fun. this wasn't designed as a computer. That's why I look back, and it's so famous, and they think they sell for so much money, and I think, oh my God, it was just taking my terminal and quickly modifying it to <laughs> have an affordable <laughs> computer for myself to do my Hewlett Packard work on. But because it didn't combine, it has a terminal. And a computer separated by one chip, mm -hmm. a PIA, and um, the Apple II was really the really great design. Merge the memory, NTSC color, high res, all that. But th once I had this one, man, I was happy for life. <laughs> I could sit there. I could just write all the fun programs and games and and p solve puzzles and everything I could think of programming for the rest of my life. You know, nowadays programming is so sophisticated you can't really do it on a small machine. <laughs> A lot of the major things, but you still have the fun. Yeah. Now you got an Apple II power supply for it. Yeah, this <laughs> this one is missing some. This of the we, I thought we had the plus and the, the plus and minus 12 volts. We didn't use both of them, but if you plugged in a 1600 or a 6501, you needed both those supplies. <coughs> the, this one obviously at some point somebody smoked part of the power supply section. Oh, over here? Mm-hmm. One of the yeah. rectifier diodes has been replaced. Well, I see it right here. Yeah, it's scorched. Yeah. Yeah. Was it spilled on it or something? Oh, it is. Then there, then there was collo That was after. <laughs> so you don't, want to, you don't want to risk that again or something? Sure. Then there's the whole, just leave it the way it is and let it run. Or, you know, bring it to showroom yeah. and question. Well, this was, this was my power supply design. You know, yeah. the very simple, normal analog ways. Switching supplies, what are they? That was why we hired Rod Holt. <coughs> and uh, he knew how to build a switching power supply. And what, what was the advantage of the switching power supply for the Apple II? No fans. No fans. And it weighed With, a lot You didn't less. need a fan to keep it cool. And it weighed a lot less. Weighed less, too. And we never talked about that, but it was really different of the fans. So forever and ever, it was a big thing at Apple. No fans. <laughs> and, and I was informed that this one brings the power supplies, the power up in the right sequence so that you don't slow out some of the, the, the RAM in particular on this one. That's one of the guys, the individual I obtained from actually. I, I never heard of that. Yeah, that he said, he actually, I think it was more not to use <coughs> some of the off-the-shelf supplies. Look, look I said, we actually didn't really lose the chips of the, um, of the TTL, the RAMs, though, <coughs> the NMOS and the, and the, uh, Processor. The the shift registers were out, what I was told. So the individual who I oh this one this one had oh yeah the shift registers those little ch the little chips in the 2519 that buffered yeah. one one you know eight times yeah. around for eight lines of dots yeah those were the ones that blew out oh yeah they're hard to get yeah. it's kind of only one source left I have I have canned version you have what the canned version is the TO 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Oh. That's, that's what well, those, and, well, those were one of the things you would never put in a computer as memory. But once you saw the Apple II, it was so much better, just dynamic RAMs. But these were dynamic shift registers, the only cheapest memory of its time. Is, you know, I was working at Hewlett Packard, and whenever we had our dynamic registers on our chips, it took so few transistors. That's why it was all chosen for cheapness for a terminal that only had to talk 30 characters a second on a phone line. You know, 60 characters a second on a screen, big deal. That's all you can talk for on a terminal over your modem anyway. But by the time it was the Apple One, it's kind of slow. You know, but <laughs> people who had teletypes couldn't go that fast. That's the reason why you wouldn't have to do hello world and just repeat. Sure, yeah. Yeah, but think about a teletype printing. I, the the MSI type computers were all, you buy a computer with static RAM, you buy more RAM cards for the cost of a car, you buy cards that connect to a teletype that cost as much as two cars. By the time you got it up to a programmable system, it was um, real expensive, and it still slowed the terminal, the teletypes. So, now the Apple II, and also this one was designed in a way that I wanted to add, I'd already what thought of the color. You're bringing a teletype next year. <laughs> I wanted to add it to it someday, but because I started out with the terminals, I didn't exactly have the option, but I made sure that um, when I designed, that I used the um, color TV frequency crystal to, to clock it all as the starting point. But then I started working out my schematics to add color, and it was one chip, two chips, seven chips. It was starting to add up to so many chips, I said, wait a minute, that makes more sense to just do things from the color up. And so I redesigned it as the Apple II. And I don't know where Randy's hand-wired one. I only hand-wired two of these Apple Ones. And I swear to God, I hand-wired one. Yeah. Maybe he did some of the wiring, like he says. I can't remember for sure, but I thought I did a lot of it. Maybe I taught him how to solder. I can't yeah. remember. But uh, that would be so valuable to find. But <laughs> you know, we didn't think these things were worth anything. I don't know where my prototypes of the Apple One and Apple Two are. Right. I think Apple lawyers might have snagged them for lawsuits, <laughs> and they didn't, they, didn't, they didn't return any of my doctor my notes on all the designs. Really? All of them that were all done before Apple even. No, never returned them. They got the boxes are at Apple. They didn't give them to me. Yeah, well, I mean, it's such old stuff. Who cares? Yeah, I know. <laughs> us, all of us. What? Yeah, all of us. Right. <laughs> yeah, who cares for Apple? It doesn't have that. <laughs> right. no. Somebody wants to build an Apple II replica now, you know, and I'm not for it, but, you know, getting Apple information, who knows? It's not that easy. They didn't have the, the rights to the Apple One design, though. It was given out first, so. <laughs> but they can't make a clone. You can't clone the Apple II. Well, the Apple One, and theoretically, no, but everything else, even the, even the monitor ROM, yeah, it's public domain. In theory, I've got, I've actually got blueprints of a two and two E motherboard. Sure, but those were those were all properly copied, taken care of. No, I know. I ended up, I ended up with a bunch of that stuff in Northern California, mm -hmm. and if you had this box 20 years ago. The clone people would have gone nuts. <laughs> well, no, there were clones everywhere. I, mean, I remember the Franklin clone. It was oh, just yeah. the same PC board. The chips were in all the same places. Just a and I just was shocked. How could engineers that are taught methods to design things just copy? When? Just like a Xerox machine. That wasn't good, right? You know, make a computer, that's fine. But yeah. yeah, that was the one where I went to the trade show and I said, I'm a chief engineer. And the press is gathering around. They said, yes, you're a chief engineer. So I went away yeah. happy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> We've got the next session coming up. I hate to. Uh, oh, it's, nice. This is Very quite nice. something to see. Thank you. Yeah. I want to take a picture for myself. <laughs> you with this, you with this, means. and then let's get one together. Yes. Uh, if you're going to be around later, you said you wanted to see the 2X. I don't know what you're doing for your dinner slot. Are you coming back afterwards? Hey, okay, smile. Okay. Difficult to get this one. Sit still, I'm not going to. Take him. Yeah, they got to give me your card. It's a little bit. I'll send you an email. Yeah. It's like a weird mesh of the past and the present. Because you got my card. Yes, I do. Thank you. Okay, thanks very much. Wow, that's really.